Hello everyone, back for another X-Wing Should I Fly it video today. Um, it's been a little bit of a hiatus, I've been busy doing some uh, super secret stuff for Dice 8. I'm actually starting to do some production work, which is pretty exciting for me. Uh, not all of this channel is about just talking about X-Wing on YouTube. As much as I enjoy this, it's, uh, it's good to have... Um, other things in the pipeline. Um, I'll probably do another video on one of the things that's coming up uh, after this one, so if you're interested, stay tuned. But on this one, I was producing the um, Monday Night Gaming Show for Sentry Box on Monday, funnily enough, and one of the regular Twitch viewers, um, Audio Weasel, um, asked about the viability of a Buzz or U Wing. So it got my mind turning. I think pretty like, straight away I said, that the platform should be viable. Um, gunner and fire controls are the essential elements. There's no reason why you can't throw it on there. But I wanted to try and come up with something a little bit more interesting. Um, and then the cog started turning after chatting with Luke on the um, the podcast show that we did. You, know, you can find that on iTunes, so there should be a video up as well. Uh, his idea of just how much stress removal you could actually get on Cassian um, just made me start thinking about how I wanted to approach this and what we have in front of you now is what I came up with. So it's a bit of a doffing of the cap to Richard Hugh. Um, everyone probably knows about his fortressing shenanigans a couple of years ago and uh, how it took the internet by storm. Um, whether that was a good thing or a bad thing is uh, to be decided, but I certainly have no problems with fortressing. And um, <laughs> that's where we go with this list. So, opening up, we have Cassian Andor. So, his obviously Pilot Skill 6 U Wing with the EPT. That's the essential part of it. And um, at the start of the activation phase, you may remove one stress token from one other friendly ship at range 1 to 2. So some stress removal, wingman for the EPT. So at the start of a combat phase, you can remove one stress token from another ship at range one. Then we have fire control system, Hera Sendula, Ezra Bridger and Pivot Wing. Then we have a blue squadron pathfinder with fire control system and gunner. The essentials for the buzzsaw. We also have a pivot wing title for the extra agility. And then Captain Rex crew, so that if you perform an attack and miss, you gain a focus token. So synergizes pretty well with Gunner, and obviously if you miss again, you have your focus, um, well, I'd say for defense, but your PS2, so you're probably not going to be using it. Um, then for the second U-Wing, we have Fire Control System, Kyle Katarn, Gunner, and Pivot Wing. So this guy, whenever you remove a stress from him, you put a focus token on him. And um, yeah, so all three of them have the ability to sit, uh, pulling zeros every turn, and just wait for the enemy to come into your arcs and then shoot at them with fire control system and focus generation. So <laughs> it's, it's pretty amusing to me at the moment. Um, a platform feels pretty efficient. If someone tries to joist this, I do think it will uh, will do some damage. Uh, you're basically going to be fl flying into um, target locked focused shots from um, two of them, and Cassian's shot for the first one would just have the Ezra converting one focus to a crit, but then after that it'll still have a fire control system switched on so Cassian's the only one who isn't in full-on gunner mode I was tempted to try and put um, blaze on him but for the um, oh, I can't remember the guy's name the one who lets you shoot at a different target but it didn't synergize well enough with fire control and uh, advanced sensors wasn't going to do any work for me so I figured this was a, a good way. Right? The other way you could do it if you want just those multiple shots all the way is I think you could fit Axia Corrector and um, the other quasi gunner crew and then it's two hits and two hits and if the well 
if you've had the first ones you get to throw it on somebody else so it gives you some token stripping shenanigans but <laughs> Just the ability of this was to sit and wait for engagement and really control how that open engagement happens is its strong point. I honestly, I will probably try this list. Whether it is worth me buying the two extra pathfinders, I, I might do actually. I'll definitely see if I can get this on the table and play around with it. It seems like it could be good fun. But the, uh, the main point of this video was obviously a buzzsaw U-wing. Um, the other thing that it does open up, which like a buzzsaw shuttle and a buzzsaw whisper doesn't allow, is um, because of a fire control system and access to a torpedo, you do have the options for throwing on a proton torpedo or um, I was actually thinking of the advanced protons just because um, of the synergy of like um, Calcutan he would be the one where I'd be looking at putting the advanced protons on. I mean, the gunner action doesn't trigger for, to let you fire the torpedo, but you've got a pivot wing, you can start the engagement, move forwards, then they have to bump into you, fly past you, stuff like that. You can spin round, have your target lock from the previous rounds firing, have a focus token from Cassian clearing your stress, and then you get the advanced proton torpedo shots as well. The problem would be that it does eat up a lot of points, so you don't quite fit three U-wings in quite as efficiently. Uh, I think you can do some torpedoes and guidance chips, but then you're losing the crew and the EPT off of uh, Cassian. So, options there, but I think this one is the fun build I'm going to try first. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. If there's any better crew options or different ways to build Cassian, but this is the one I think um, I will stick with for now. And flying against this kind of thing, it's the same as with any fortress. You don't have to actually fly into it. At some point you can either accept the draw or you can plan your way around how you want to approach it. So deployment's really important if you see this kind of list across the table from you you have to acknowledge that that strategy is going to be possible and it'll make for a really dull game especially if it's in the final of an event and you're going to be playing it for over two hours but there you go that's uh, my idea for buzzsaw u-wings and yes i think you should fly them um all i would say is um obviously captain rex isn't out yet but will be in sabine's tie and yeah i think it'll be good if you enjoy the should i fly it videos make sure you subscribe to the channel um i'd love it if uh, you could try and get people sharing it around all of the local x-wing groups because as much as i uh, love spending my time on facebook it's uh, i'm not i'm in about 12 or 13 x-wing groups and i try and post the videos in them but um I'm not in all of them, so I'd love it if you guys could help spread the word on these, if you enjoy them, let uh, some of your friends know about it as well. Also, if you're on Reddit, feel free to share the videos on Reddit. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Um, subscribe to the channel, it's really helping. We're almost there. I think we're, over, we're almost at 850 subscribers now, so the channel is growing faster and faster every week. Uh, it's really exciting and funny actually. I did never expect it to be this successful, so let's keep the, uh, the train rolling. Um, I suppose I could say um, it looks like YouTube are actually going to send me a royalty check, which will be awesome. I think for um, six months work I've been doing YouTube now. I've been averaging at least four videos a week and I'm going to get paid my first 100 Canadian dollars. So that's like 70 US dollars for six months work. So, but no, it's, <laughs> it's really good. Thanks a lot for watching the videos and making that possible. Um, I will be reinvesting that back into Dice 8 and paying off this fancy microphone and all of that stuff. So cheers for watching the videos, guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, so yeah, anyone who's stuck around this long, if you, um, subscribe to the channel and um, throw up a comment 
make sure you use the word Akbar somewhere in your comment because the person who won the Patreon giveaway this week, so this month, uh, decided that he didn't need the Akbar and the Imperial Raider alternate art cards I was giving away. So I said just do something else with them. So I'm going to give them away as a bonus on this video. So if you play Star Wars Armada as well, interested in an Admiral Akbar and Imperial Raider alternate art card, make sure you subscribe to the channel and throw in a comment um, featuring the word Akbar somewhere. And I will uh, do a draw, probably um, Boxing Day. No, no, I'll give it a bit longer. I'll do it on New Year's, New Year's Eve. So on New Year, there will be another winner, then I'll make sure they get posted out. I'm still waiting for a Kylo Ren starter set to come into stock so that I can give one of those away to you guys as well. So stay tuned for information on that. If you want more chances to win, so I do a monthly draw on Patreon and it uh, only costs a dollar to get entry into that and all of the nice bonus features as well. So I'll make sure there's a Patreon link in here somewhere. But thanks for watching everybody and I'll uh, let you go.